This is fun. I've been researching the internet and I found a few groundbreaking news reports that came out recently. These could change the face of medicine, literally. So it makes me wonder if maybe someday us doctors will be obsolete. So let's take a look at this first breaking med report I found online. Right. Would you let a robot draw your blood? Meet VBot, a robot actually being developed to take the guesswork out of drawing blood. VBot uses infrared light and ultrasound technology to identify the optimal vein below the skin. VBot currently holds an 83% success rate, but Epson, which manufactures some of the fastest and most accurate multi-axis arms in the business, feels confident that if it can gain human trust, we may be making our next appointment with this robot soon. <laughs> phrase gains human trust. I don't know if I trust robots. Uh, Eighty-three percent. If you're part of the seventeen percent, can you yell at the robot? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Well, you, you know, I think about how often my phone freezes, how often my computer <laughs> yes. freezes. Uh, yeah. So, am I going to have the same problem with this frozen robot stuck in my arm? <laughs> like, literally, what, yeah. if, what if the, the e needles e in your arm yes. can't find blood <laughs> anywhere? <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm, I'm not real sure about this one. Yeah, that robot head looks like it had infrared sensors that could see the veins probably better than the human eye can. But you could use that technology to improve venipuncture for humans as well. And there are new ways of improving the success rate. Because here's the reality. People who need an IV, sometimes they're the hardest ones to find a vein. Right. But yeah. I would still rather have a human being using technology. But you can to get feel them. Yeah, maybe you know, they, have they, the robot point to where the vein is. And then, <laughs> and then the a person. human come in. <laughs> yeah. You know? you know what? I like it. That's actually a nice yeah, compromise. Yeah, yeah. I like that, too. Yeah. I, I hate getting my, my blood drawn. If I, if I watch, and as soon as I see my own blood, I'm like, oh. You have to look now, the I can draw blood just fine <laughs> from somebody else. But if it's mine, yeah, it's And I think bad. what's really important is there is something you alluded to it earlier yeah. about human contact. Yes. This is what I'm going to be doing. This is the vein I'm going for, rather than I this am going to stick a needle. I'm a better. I'm such a better robot than you. When I <laughs> no, All right. So, if you, but a lot of us are kind of hard sticks. They call them. You know, hard to find a, a good vein. So there's yes. a couple yes. things you can do. First off, you mentioned people in the hospital oftentimes are dehydrated. But if you're out, you know, for an, an outpatient and can get nice and hydrated, drink a couple glasses of water before you go, that way your veins will be a little bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, flexing the forearm muscles right when you're in the, the blood draw office, um, I, they gave me a tennis ball to squeeze or mm -hmm. maybe do some push-ups, and I've got a before and after picture here. There's, you know, the veins are, you can oh, kind of yeah. see them, but then after a bunch of push-ups, ooh, there's a vein. See, you know, anybody could get that. Is that your arm? <laughs> yeah. Is that you? Yeah, sure, why not? And, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, that is not your arm. There's no way. I've yeah. never seen that on your arm. And then, um, you know, if you're really a hard stick all the time, you can maybe tell the phlebotomist that, you know, every time I'm in, that person usually needs to wind up using a butterfly needle, and it's one of these here, and it's kind of a little easier to... to, to Manipulate. Yes, I know in med school I always reached for the butterflies because yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes it so much easier yeah. to use. And, and don't tell them use a butterfly because then they might get defense. Just say, you know, they usually need to wind up using a uh, butterfly. That's and good. Then, and breathing techniques in. also help just to, to, to calm you while this happens. 